Hey guys, this is Hobbs of Australian Numismatic. Today we're going to be looking at this nice 1999 proof coin set, which has the International Year of Older Persons theme. So as you can see, here's a brief overview of this. The United Nations was the one who uh, organized this event. And uh, it's, uh, this the year was celebrated in recognition of humanity's demographic coming of age and promise that holds for maturing attitudes and capabilities in social, economic, cultural, spiritual and global peace and uh, development in the next century. That's what it, so that's what it basically is. Okay, as you can see, you got the elderly person with his uh, child. You got the logo for the t International Year of Older Persons. Okay. Here's the proof set cover. It's black with the text and the logo white. Here's the proof set. I would have did it in an uncirculated review, but proof looks nicer. Anyways, here it is. Here's the obvious. This is the first set to feature the R.O.B. Effigy by Ian Rank Broadley. Yep. Yep, and that's basically it. We'll get to the... We're going to talk about the design first. The one dollar, the design, the coin design was uh by Wald Jess, Wald Jessek, Plantranic. Um, let me spell that. Let me spell that again, just in case. Wald Jessich. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, so I do apologize. But and the two dollar, according to this set, the reverse of the five, ten, twenty, fifty cent, and the two dollar were created by Stuart Devlin. Actually, the $2 was designed by Horst Hain. That is actually a mistake, not Stuart Devlin. Uh, Horst Hain was the one who designed that coin. But he, Stuart Devlin did design the 5, 10, 20, and the 50 cent designs. Okay. We get on to the mintage now. Here's the mintage for the 1995 non-proof coins. So the 5 cent coin has 179.5 million minted. That's a very, very high minted coin. You can easily get that in change. The same can be said of the 10 cents with 97.1, another high issued coin. The 20 cent coin is a high mintage with 64 point, no, 60, yeah, 64.2 million. The 50 cent is a standard, it's a standard mintage, but still common with 20.3. The one dollar would have 29.3. And the two dollars, uh, 27.3. Okay. So unfortunately, none of them are below, not even close to 15. Well, the closest is the 50 cents, but still common. So getting a proof version or mint set would be better. But as you can see, now this is the effigy, and this is the first set to use such effigy up until 2019. So 20 years. From 1999 to 2019. Because they replaced it with uh, Jody Clark Effigy. That was actually made at 2015. But Australian Coins didn't have used that Effigy until 2019. Yeah. As you can see. So you got the 5 cent with the Echidna. The 10 cent Lyabird. 20 cent platypus, the 50 cent, the design is based off the actual Australian government logo. The $2 uh, has an original man with an island with a seven cross. And here it is, here's the coin. 
of the International Year of Older Person. Gunter logo. Uh, this is not colored, by the way. The colored one dollar proof didn't start until two thousand one, and yeah. And two thousand and four is the last set to feature the colored one dollar coin. As you can see, it says one dollar on the bottom. Unfortunately, the photo quality is a bit blurish. Should have gotten a photo of this one, but it's all right. I think yeah, I know that the last phrase has for all ages. But yeah, so this is what it would look like. There is no silver proof version of this one, unfortunately. So the Car Pro, if we go to the specifications, no, nah, they don't. Yeah, aluminium bronze. Only for one dollars on me. On you can only get this one in aluminium bronze. But yeah, how how much is this set going for? Um, 60 to 100 bucks, I would say. I vote a one in a coin dealer site sold for 199. Hmm. No, I think it was 99 dollars instead. Yeah, it's, it's not too expensive. Um, especially since that the non proof version has a higher mintage, you will be lucky to sell it for 100 something. Not really, like compared to other years. This one's not, uh, you will find some sales in the hundreds, but not all of them. Yeah. Is there any coins? In, yeah, there's not really much coins, so, um, you know, proof worth keeping. And also, this is the last proof set to be in, uh, horizontally. You can see how the set is going upwards. That's the last time that this would ever happen because starting in 2000, if you remember the 80 pre-1985 sets, they were uh, vertically. Yeah, that, that's what's been happening with the starting with the 2000 proof issue. And this is the only horizontally set with this effigy. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't know the proof mintage figures for this quite yet. I will leave it in the comment section below if I can find the uh, mintage of this set. Okay, that's the 1999 proof coin set. I hope you liked. Please like and subscribe and comment and see you next time.